Paul was about to make a missionary trip to the western part of the Roman Empire, and he evidently wanted to use the church in the city of Rome as a kind of base of operation for his westward mission. He intends on taking the gospel further west all the way to Spain, and so he needs a base of operation. He wants that to be Rome. But the Christians in Rome had heard some negative things about Paul and his mission. Paul, then, is writing in order to clear up the matter so that they will support him in his missionary work. This may seem odd to us today that somebody would think badly of Paul, but it's because we think of Paul as uh, so important for the history of Christianity. But we need to realize that in his own day, Paul was a highly controversial figure. We know Paul was a controversial figure because in virtually every one of his letters, he talks about his Christian opponents, people who had opposing points of view. For example, I mentioned briefly in the previous lecture, his letter to the Galatians. The Galatians think that in order to be true followers of Jesus, they, like Jesus, need to be Jewish. They didn't come up with this idea themselves. We learn from the letter of the Galatians that, in fact, other Christian missionaries had visited the churches in Galatia and had told them this, had told them that, in fact, this is the understanding of Jesus' own apostles in Jerusalem, and that Paul has pre presented a fabricated gospel. Paul then writes Galatians to set the record straight to show that he has the right gospel and his opponents have the wrong gospel. Paul had opponents in Galatia, and it wasn't just Galatia. Paul had opponents in a number of places. Most of his letters indicate that he has Christian 